Hey guys, good morning. Today I'm going to read one of our favorite class books because during this COVID-19, the restaurants have started to open up again. And Missy and her family went to a restaurant last night for the first time since this started. Now, we went like at 8.30 at night, so actually there was nobody sitting around us. It was really quiet. It was kind of weird, but I think we need to be reminded of how to act when we go to restaurants, okay? And so this fun book, we all love the Froggy series, so this fun book reminds us of how we should act. And when you see Froggy acting up in the story about how he should not be acting at a restaurant, take note of that, okay? Make sure you're not doing that at a restaurant because as silly as Froggy looks, guess what? You look silly and you look even sillier because you're a teenager acting that way, okay? So here we go. Froggy eats out. It was almost dinner time and Froggy was hungry. He sat in the kitchen and dreamed about burgers and flies. Would you guys eat flies? No. Then he hopped up and looked for something to eat. He looked in the cabinet. He looked in the cabinet. Slam! He looked in the fridge. Slam! And he looked in the oven. Bang! Mom! yelled Froggy. There is nothing good to eat. Have y'all said that during this time? My kids. Elizabeth tells me that like every single day. Froggy! called his mother. What? Did you forget? It's our anniversary and we're gonna get to go out to eat. <gasps> Hooray! sang Froggy. Let's go. But First, you have to get dressed up, dear. We're going to a fancy restaurant. So Froggy flopped to his bedroom. Flop, flop, flop. Hey, when y'all go out in public, listen to me. You need to be clean, okay? You need to wear clothes that are not all ripped up and nasty, okay? So that's what he's gonna go to a restaurant and he is gonna have to dress up. He flip, slipped on his shirt. He unzipped his pants. He took off his shoes. He pulled off his socks. And he even changed his underwear with a zip of elastic. Then he tugged on his best pants. Zip. Buttoned up his best shirt. Zip, zip, zip. Put on his best socks. Zoop, and pulled on his best shoes, zup, and tied them up. Zwit, zwit. Then he put on his best bow tie, zup, and flopped out to show his mom and dad. Flop, flop, flop. Okay, he's not wearing his dirty, nasty play clothes to go out to eat, is he? Nope. Oh, you look so handsome, dear, said his mother, but you forgot to wash. Whoops, said Froggy. Okay, so she's making sure that he's clean before he goes out to eat. So he went to the bathroom and washed his hands and face. Splash, splash, splash. He used lots and lots of water, but only a little bit of soap, okay? Guys, when you go out in public, you need to make sure that your face is clean. Then he dried off with a towel. Zoop! And he looked at himself in the mirror. Wow, he thought that he looked kind of cute. Froggy called his father. What? It's time to go, said his dad. We're going to be late. And they flopped off to the restaurant. Flop, flop, flop. Look at this one. Look at this page. So here's the page. Ooh, does Froggy look excited to be there? That's kind of how I was last night, finally getting to go to another restaurant. At 
the restaurant, Froggy's eyes grew big and round. There were glowing candles, there were flowers and vases, and there were tablecloths as white as snow. This is a fancy restaurant, Froggy. Yes, yeah, said his mom. So remember, you have to be neat, you have to be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. Guys, that's a big thing in restaurants that you have to be quiet because you do not want to disturb the other eaters, okay? When they were finally seated, Froggy said, I'm hungry, let's eat. First, we have to order, dear, said his mother. I want a hamburger, said Froggy. There are no hamburgers here, said his father. Hmm, do you guys remember what Froggy orders? We read this book a lot. The waiter handed him a menu. Froggy opened it and knocked over a glass of water. Uh-oh, he crash. Oops, cried Froggy. Oh, Froggy, remember what I told you? Uh-oh. Look, there's Froggy knocking over his glass of water. You gotta be super careful. I know, said Froggy. Be neat, be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. Uh-oh, so he's not being neat. He wasn't paying attention. But it was hard for Froggy to be neat and quiet. He, fr he fidgeted. He shook salt on his hand and he licked it. He banged his spoon on the table, bang, bang, bang. And then he hit hard on the tip of his spoon and flipped it right onto the waiter's head. Okay, this is all the things we should not do at a restaurant. After the waiter finally came and took their orders, they waited and waited and waited, and Froggy pulled the petals off the flower, and he blew on the candle, and he sucked on the sugar cubes and the ice cubes. Yeah. Then he hopped around the restaurant and flopped around singing, singing, be neat, be quiet, and don't put your feet on the table. Uh-oh. So he's singing that song, but look at everybody looking at him. They're like, be quiet. We want to enjoy our meal. Froggy, called his father. What? Please sit down now. Froggy sat down and finally dinner was served. Oh, what did he order? He ordered spaghetti, didn't he, with flies. Froggy stuck his fork in, his, in a huge plate of spaghetti and sucked some up, slurp, and it was fun, so he slurped up some more. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Not how we eat spaghetti. And that's when he saw Frogalina. She was sitting with her parents. Hi, Froggy, called Frogalina. Who's that pretty girl frog, said Mom. <gasps> Froggy was so embarrassed, he ducked beneath the tablecloth and pulled and pulled and pulled and uh-oh, what happened? Look, okay, he pulled and pulled and pulled uh, and his spaghetti and fly sauce landed smack on his head. Woo-wee. Whoops, cried Froggy. Looking for more red in the face than green. Happy anniversary, he croaked. Uh-oh. So when somebody gets red in the face, that means that they're embarrassed. And you know what? He should be embarrassed because he should not be acting like that in a restaurant. What a mess, cried Froggy. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. Froggy scooped spaghetti out of his face and said, I know, let's eat out at a fast flies place. Good deal, said his mother. 
let's go, said his father. And together they leapfrogged out of the restaurant. Flop, flop, flop. And look, they went to a different kind of restaurant where Froggy did not have to behave himself as mannerly as he would if he was in a super nice restaurant. So look at that. He's at Speedy's where they ate burgers and flies and munch, munch, munch. Okay, guys, we act different. We act different at McDonald's than we do if we were to go to a sit-down restaurant with a menu. But if you go to a sit-down restaurant with a menu and you have to wait to be ordered, people are there to relax and enjoy their food, and you need to respect that. So you need to eat with manners. You need to be quiet. Um, you need to appreciate, eat, eat your food properly. You don't want to gross everybody out sitting around you. Okay. I really hope that you enjoyed our froggy book. I can't wait till we're back together where we can read this in person. Bye-bye.